People use tarot readings to deal with questions about life, and right now, Whoopi's finding out what's in the cards from her, from psychic tarot card reader Sandy Anastasi. Welcome, Sandy. Okay, so what, what exactly, how, how did the tarot cards actually work for you to predict things? Well, first off, let me hand these to Whoopi so she can start shuffling them, and I'll tell you how they work. Okay, so you always give them to somebody to shuffle. Well, not always, actually. Okay. Um, as, a, as a psychic, I can tune into Whoopi's vibration. I can shuffle the cards while I think of her and then do the layout myself and it'll still come up more accurately but uh, frankly everybody's going to be more impressed if she shuffles them. <laughs> What's on the cards? They actually lay out what part of your life? What, it depends. I don't know anything about these. Yeah, you can look at the past, you can look at the present, okay. you can look at the future. Okay. Um, the tarot cards, first of all, are rooted so deeply in history nobody really knows where they came from. Our earliest history is the gypsies carrying them around Europe, and we know them as a divination tool, a fortune-telling tool. I believe that they were used to train psychics. Because if you do the tarot cards for many, many years, as I've done, they initially start out, one card has one meaning. You know, card A means this, card B means this. You put those two meanings together, it's like a math problem. Okay. Mm -hmm. You get C as a result. So it's an equation. Yeah, so you don't have to be psychic to read the cards. You ready? But the cards train your psychic ability. Are you ready? Would you cut them into four piles for okay. me? Okay. Some readers use four piles, some three, some read off the top of the deck. Everyone is... Different. Okay, so let's do it. And you know, Whoopi, if you put your hand over the top of the cards, you're going to feel this weird vibration. Pick me whichever pile. Like vibration. Like mm. so. Pick whichever pile you're most attracted to. Which one says pick me? Ah, okay. Now, we're going to look at where your future is going. All right. Does that worry you? Do you feel like doing that? I, I know, I, you know, nothing worries me except when I have to go to the bathroom. Good. Good. Car launch then. Does she have to go there in the future? Uh, yes. Probably about 15 minutes from now. Yeah. yeah. I'm good at that. Yeah, yeah. A bottle of water. Yeah. Well, what, the first card I'm going to put down is going to talk about where your mind is at right now. You know, what are you, what are you thinking about? What's on your mind? This is telling me that you've got some choices to make and not sure which way you, you want to jump. Mm -hmm. There are so many possibilities out there. You have a particular thing that you're looking at. You may have two or three different options on the plate as far as uh, uh, perhaps a piece of property that you're thinking of buying or selling. And it doesn't feel like there's one. It feels like there's two or perhaps more, but it feels like a definite two. That's so this could be list. like, where do I want to live? Or do I want to get rid of this piece of property and create a new piece of property? Are you still selling your place? But there's mm -hmm. shift, okay? Now, the next card I'm going to be putting down talks about the current situation. That's what's on her mind now. That's what she's thinking about. Mm -hmm. The next card is her current can situation. Can I touch the card? Can, we, well, sure. can you lay it down the other way so that everyone at home can see too in the camera? And, there yeah. we go. Does that affect anything? Yeah, it does. It does? Because well, it means something different there, now. There she goes, turned them upside there down. There goes your future. <laughs> You touch the cards. You see, actually, c touching them wouldn't have bothered me, although most psychics say, don't touch my cards when oh. I read. Um, but I read the cards right side up and inverted, mm -hmm. and it changes the meaning. What? You see? Yeah. You see, this card right here says she already made the decision. This card says she's still thinking about it. <laughs> you, so you're deciding on what the real is. No, she hasn't made no, the decision made. yet. Okay. okay. And this card here says she's moving like tomorrow now, but this card right here says 
uh, it's going to be maybe a month from now, but there's also a possibility, depending on what she chooses here, what, that it might not be until the first of the year. Okay, so we'll go with how you first put them down. <laughs>